and I created an organization and I decided to start working with kids. At 15? Yeah, and I created an organization in my country and then start working with kids at that time. And then before I left, I had like 40 plus employee before I left the country back in 2010. But I don't even want to <laughs> tell you what I was yes. doing at 15. <laughs> I was not creating organizations. That's amazing. Yes. Hello and welcome to Culture Ventures. My name is EJ and in this show we will be looking at art and artists who bring joy to the Tampa Bay area. With me today is my guest, artist Junior Polo. Hello, how are we today? Good. And oh, you? I'm so excited to speak with you, getting to know you a little bit, you roasting me before these cameras turned on. <laughs> oh, it's great. No, you're so fun. And I'm so excited to dive into your very expressive art, your very vibrant art, because this is this is just the tip of the iceberg with what you do. You are such a diverse, such a, a varied artist. And it's really interesting to see what you do. And I want to know, how did this start? What is the background of Junior Polo? <laughs> I like I like superheroes. What's your origin story? All right, let's go back to my country. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm from Haiti, and uh, I remember back uh, when I was five years old, and I was uh, like the only son. Uh, my my mother, my my parents didn't have any other kids. Mm -hmm. I was a unique child. Imagine they they don't let me go out. They don't let me have any friends. Mm -hmm. That's mean. The only t way I can go is go to school and come back. Oh, Every day, it and like I remember. We had the same parents, yes, because I was the <laughs> only child like that too. Yes, and then I remember, and then going to school, and then stop by, and then see a couple of artists working, mm -hmm. doing art on the backyard. Mm -hmm. Since my parents didn't let me have friends or even even stay watching other people doing stuff, it is the only thing sometime I can stay in and do on my way back home and watching them doing that. And remember one day I had an opportunity and then go and then talk to them. And then this is when <laughs> like the journey start. Because I never went to school like to be an artist by watching those people and then see them and then see the technique and then, um, and then I start sense that, and I start uh, drawing, and then uh, doing cartoons, you know, like every kid at mm -hmm. that time back in the day, and then start doing some uh, 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 landscape stuff. And then until, like one day, and then I decide when I turn uh, uh, 15, and I create an organization, and I decide to start working with kids. At 15? Yeah, and I create an organization in my country, and then start, working with kids at that time and then before I left I had like 40 plus employee before I left the country back in 2010 but I don't even want to <laughs> tell you what I was yes. doing at 15 <laughs> I was not creating organizations that's amazing yes so did any of that play into your early inspirations what was inspiring you I know you saw you know those artists thing and was there movies TV or music growing up that played any inspiration for you I think it's all by working with kids mm -hmm. You know, this is what make me an artist. This is what make me who I am right now. If you're looking at my style, you know, you will see this is by working with kids. Mm -hmm. You understand? Per before, I used to try to make things perfect. You understand? And then when watching kids working the way they do their stuff, it's like the, they don't even think. They just let it go, let There's it no flow. Filter. Yeah, There's no the, filter, yeah. Yeah, and then I get inspired by that this is my first inspiration you know to become an artist and then I and then I watch what these kids doing and then I change it my own way and then I create my own style yeah there's like a childlike wonderment to your art it feels so free yes. which again I think as adults we start becoming more restrictive you know yes. oh well society you know art the, what's the rules of art yes you know that childlike vibe gives you that freedom and I love that so tell me a little bit about Haiti what's the art scene like there is there an art community even in Haiti that, you know, or did you want to venture out to find more of that? Yeah, but since I don't really go to any other country, like any, like I don't travel like often, mm -hmm. like to other country, but I can say Haiti is the is the place you got the most talented <laughs> person. I can say it. You understand? Yes, yes. Because I know so many talent there, like sculpture, like people who use uh, recycled material. And they're so talented, and then we have the vibrant color, the carnival, 
It's why you can see in some of my art, you can see the vibrant colors. That was this the is the first thing I told you when yeah. I saw it, it was so colorful. That's the Caribbean vibe, you know, mm -hmm. you, 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 you can see in, in that. I take that from my, from my people. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. My background's Cuban, so I, I love yeah. the, the, the island flavor to your, your art. It's still there. I mean, we'll talk about your jazz inspiration, but yeah. all <laughs> of that just plays such a big part. So yeah. tell me about coming to Florida. How did that journey come? Why Florida? And it, as a native Floridian, I'm always like, why do people want to come here? Yes, this is what happened. I remember, well, like I told you, working, creating that organization, and then created art program for kids in my country. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was kind of a young leader back in, in my country. And then the uh, USAID, the American government, looking for young leader on each country sometime. And then I got the scholarship and then to come to USF. Mm. And back in 2007, it's my first time in America. And then I, uh, I, I, I do USF and then I do my time and then go back to my country. <laughs> and then back in 2010, and then I decide to come back here to US to, to live for good. I met my wife at that time at USF and we get married. Oh, and amazing. then yeah, I got three kids. Oh my and goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and then now, and then back in 2004, uh, I remember you talking about like what inspired me. Mm -hmm. It was I remember going to New Orleans in 2011, and then I see like the jazz, the street, the color, and you can see like the purple in my mm -hmm. some of my art. You know that's uh, that I get that there too. You know it's like New Orleans and Haiti. I feel like the kind of they're that sisters connection. Almost, like, yes. Yeah, they're, they're very yeah. connected. Yes, and then I, my color, my style, and then and then the jazz, the music, and I fall in love with jazz when I go there. And then since that, most of my artwork, it's all about music. Mm. Back in since 2011. So music does play a big part. We'll talk about music in a second. Yeah. <laughs> but I want to talk about your preferred artistic mediums. What do you like to play with? I know sculptor is what I thought you were, but now I see painter. And I mean, it seems like you love all types of art. Tell me what is your kind of, wh where do you play with the most? The, the mixed media, I think that's the, my favorite because I have freedom. You understand? Freedom to use it, to do whatever I, w I feel in that moment. Because when I do my art, I didn't think. I don't think. I just let, I touch the, 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 the materials, and then it's like instantly something come, you know, I don't know where it's come mm -hmm. from, and then use my hands and then create something. At the end, I say, okay, that's done. But <laughs> at the beginning, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. You understand? And then um, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is exactly like, <laughs> You are the definition of a trust the process. Yeah, um, just, just uh, yeah, just let it go. You yeah, know? it's like I, I and I love like like the the, the freedom. It's it. I know I use um, uh, acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. I use clay. I use, but I love mix those medium together. Mm -hmm. And this is what uh, this is uh, what the the things I'm comfortable with. The things I, I I'm more comfortable with is the mixed media when mm -hmm. I mix everything together. And then I love that freedom. Now, how did you discover sculpting? Because that's always a, a, a world <laughs> to get into. It's not, you know, I think anyone could pick up a paintbrush, put it to their draw, but sculpting seems to be such a very intricate, almost science kind of thing. What, tell me about, a little bit about that. For example, back, into, back when I was 17, for the first time I used clay. Mm. For the first time in my life, I used clay. And uh, I didn't know if I can use that uh, that material yeah. until a friend of mine invite me to a studio and then say junior you, i know you're an artist but i don't know i know you you don't use clay but i said okay let's try it can you imagine that a month after i got one of the biggest contract doing some sculpture in my country at that time i said whoa you know since that i use that uh, i use that ha what happened to me when I was 15, mm -hmm. it's why when I came here to US and I said, okay, with the way I'm going to teach uh, people, I'm going to treat them the same way as me. Because everybody, you have to challenge them to get the best out of them because you don't know what you can do. I didn't know what I can do with clay, but mm -hmm. it was in me, right? Mm -hmm. 
until someone gives me an opportunity to, you know, to use that medium, to teach me how to use the materials. And then after that, the rest was in me already, I didn't know. It was every kid I work with, every young people I work with, I treat them the same as the young junior polo in <laughs> 17 back in the day. You understand? I say, okay, yeah. you probably, you have something in you, you probably don't know, nobody don't know, I'm going to try to help you get it out. This is the technique I use in my teaching activity sometimes. That's just amazing. It's, it's wild to hear the story of just walking down the street, you know, yeah. and not having those connections, seeing random art. Yeah. to then finding out that you have that in you. That's just so interesting. And has your creative process changed since 17-year-old junior to now? You know, what is your creative process? Do you work in a workshop? Do you put music on? Do you shut yourself off away from the wife and kids? No, most of the time you can see I love music when I'm working. Sometimes I have some friends, but since I start working with the jazz, mm -hmm. I have some friends like a come over, like musician come over, mm -hmm. play saxophone around me, play, I love that. Play, play instrument around me, and then wow. that gives me inspiration. But I listen to them, because since I tell you, you know, that things just, just come. Just, it's like a kind of spirit, just, you know, and then, mm -hmm. you know, talk to me, I don't know, but it's come out. But uh, when I have music around me, it's help. It doesn't matter I have kids like jumping around me. Yeah. It, it, th that's not going to affect me at <laughs> all. You know, I know some sometimes some uh, some artists love like they stay in a quiet place. Yes. Nobody, don't bother. But I'm not like that. You can make as many noise you want. <laughs> yeah. But until like I find like the I'm enjoying it, like the music I can put some music and I'm enjoying it, I'm I'm okay. Yeah, I never understood the artist who can just lock themselves away. You know, I'll go to the cabin in the woods for two weeks and I wrote a book and I'm like, how? how? <laughs> I don't under I like the, the chaos. I think that makes me more creative sometimes. Have you explored playing music at all? Me, you, yeah, I, it I, seems like you, I, actually, you have a secret music. Actually, I play by here. Oh. I'll play piano by here. Oh, um, of course you do. Yeah, You're too I rem talented. I remember, like, you want to know something? When I was kids. I have a, a friend give me a little tiny piano, just one song, one, mm -hmm. one, one kind of tune on it, and, and, and I, I play a different song on it. And my mother decided, okay, I want to put you in music lesson. I can play everything I hear. Mm -hmm. And then one day, my mom's in, and at that time, and I have a band around, like after school, you know, I cannot be, have friends. And I can play a little bit, mm -hmm. but I don't know what I'm doing because I can't read music. Mm. And then, uh, and then I have uh, that little band close to the school, and then after <laughs> school I can stay a little bit, and then practice, and then run <laughs> home after, <laughs> and I can play with them. But every Friday, because I, it looks like I live in uh, Fort Lauderdale, mm. like I, I go to school in Fort Lauderdale, and then my pa I stay with my aunt and my uncle. And then every Friday, I have to go see my parents in Clearwater. Oh, boy. That's mm -hmm. mean every Friday, we got practice, and then nobody know where I am because I'm, I have to make the transition <laughs> to, clear, to follow the Clearwater. That means I can stay a little bit practice yeah. and then until I go to see my parents. But they don't know if I was doing that, you know, like uh, playing music. But and until like, one day, my mom decided to put me in the music uh, class and then uh, the teacher was playing like something really hard at that time and then say junior um, and then he was playing and then step out the class for a little bit and then he hear the music play in the class and then he come and then say are you playing this and he say yes and then say okay play it again and then i and i was playing that song and he, and then he looking at me my eyes didn't even looking at the music shit oh i'm like goodness. all the way my head is all over the place and then play and he said, hey, you're not looking at the music shit, aren't you? I said, no. He said, no, you need to go back to zero. Go oh back to the other kid. I said, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> and then since then, I never go back to music again. Yeah. And then uh, sometimes I still play. I play. I create my own things. It's why sometimes when people see me play piano, they tell, oh, you can play. OK, can I have, ask me requests? So <laughs> I said, no, do not, because I pick up things and then create my own 
my own song. Yeah. If you you can look at them later, I can show you <laughs> some. But <laughs> that's yeah. That's awesome. No, yeah. it's because it, I. That's why I was asking because your creative style with art seems very similar to how they play jazz. Yeah. Jazz is so you know especially freeform jazz. It is just whatever gifts that they're given from somewhere, mm -hmm. it just comes out. And that seems yes. a lot like your art. So yes. I, I was like, you have to be a musician as well. You know Prince was like that as well. Yeah. He could just hear any instrument, pick it up and play it. It is a weird skill to have, but I love that art just seems like such a, a part of your soul. It, yeah. it, it blows my mind. Uh, <laughs> so what inspires you now? What is keeping you going? Is it your students? Is it teaching? You know, is it certain other artists? What keeps you kind of going? I know sometimes we get a little tired. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. th it's teaching, mm -hmm. working with kids, working with young people, and also inspire other young artists, particularly in the uptown area. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're putting together like an artist collective where we, we put, I put together a group of artists with University Area CDC, mm. and then uh, we put them, we put that group together to create like m the 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 next uh, place making project around here. You know, we, we have we gathered all the artists together and then to do this. For example, if you go to on Fletcher right now, on Fletcher and 12th Street, we see a big giant mural on the building of Town Sky. Mm -hmm. This is this is the one of my design, and then I have. I bring a bunch of other artists in this area, come with me, and then let's do this together. And that's help young artists, and that's help like other artists to, you know, to get to know and work together. All those things, to be honest with you, is what make me going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that's interesting, because I, I find you, you're so inspiring, and it seems like you want to pass it on, especially for someone who really didn't like their teachers of art <laughs> growing up. You, one, didn't say I didn't need any art you know, teachers and music teachers you rebelled against. So it's interesting to find yourself now in that spot and probably being like, everything they did to me, I don't want to do to you. <laughs> tell me about yeah. teaching a little bit. It seems like it started early for you, but you know, tell me a little bit about that and how that inspires you and how that makes you feel good. Because I love, especially, passing on to younger people. How does that make you feel? Tell me a little bit about teaching. Man, it makes me feel really good, like working with kids, working with, actually I also teach at St. Leo University, I teach uh, ceramics over there. Oh, wow. Yeah, and then uh, it makes me feel good, mm -hmm. like see like me helping someone to feel good. Because most of the time working with some kids and then when you know, when you ask them to do something and then they like, it's so hard for them, make them cry. I said, no, this is not what I want you. Mm -hmm. I want you to have like, to have freedom. Like, I want you to be happy. You understand? Like when I, when, when, when we're doing this, it's not, ca it's not a punition. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like teaching art is not supposed to be like, make you like frustrated and then yeah. make you cry. It's supposed to be like a free time. For, it, it's supposed to be free for you. It's why art is a therapy you mm -hmm. understand like to make you feel good you understand and it's why then i love like passing that uh that that time p spending those time with those kids and then teach them the technique and then help them like to to develop their creative mind you understand i love i love that no that's interesting because i I find uh, everything you said to me, you called me out there a little bit because I'm a very high anxiety person and that's what's something that's, I struggle with art. I'm, I, I want it to be perfect. And mm. that is not part yeah. of art. Mm. And it's just such an interesting thing you said that. I'm like, wow, you were speaking to me in your art <laughs> class there because I'm always like, this isn't right. And you know, I, I struggle with that. So I, I find that interesting as an educator. You're teaching them you can't be perfect. No, the, no, no, you no, can't, no. Then stop. It's why sometimes it. it's why sometimes my student they ask, uh, 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 Mr. Polo, what do you think about this? Uh, do you think it's good? I said, no, that's not my place. Mm -hmm. I don't have any right to judge your creativity. That's you. Do you understand? You are you. I'm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm different than you. You are different. You know, everybody. That's been. I'm not, I, if it's some technical yeah. things, you know, ask me, I can tell you. But if it's about your creativity, you get frustrated, oh, I think it's not good enough, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. That's you. You're supposed to be proud of what you're doing. You're supposed to be proud of your own creation. What you, what you have right now, nobody in the world have it. Mm -hmm. That's your own. You own this. You understand? That's not my place like to, 
critics and they yeah. tell you that's good or not good. Whatever you do, that's yours. You understand? It's 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 simple. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You spoke to me very much there. <laughs> where I'm like, I do need to work on that. And that's just an interesting mindset to have because I think there's a lot of people who are so art in it. It's well by the rules. That's yeah. one of my rules I give in somebody in one of my classes is. I want to teach you the rules, but then I also want you to break the rules. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. So yeah. it, it just—you're very inspiring, and that just uplifted me there a little bit. I love that. I, I kind of needed that before the interview. I get so nervous before <laughs> doing these. So I like—I like that mindset. So what's next for you, though? What's going on? What are we planning next? Is there any big art projects going up? I would love to find, you know, where we can find your stuff as well. Uh, you can find. Okay, I have an Instagram page, and mm -hmm. then I also have uh, like Junior. Polo Art, and I also have uh, my website, Junior Polo Art Artist dot com, and I also have Veo Polo dot com. Okay. Yeah, and also, like you can find me on Facebook also, and uh, uh, my next project right now because every year I don't know if you heard about Uptown Music Festival mm, around tell me a here. Bit about that. Yeah, uh, Uptown Music Festival and Art Ex and Art Experience. I'm the 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 the, the one responsible for the art component mm -hmm. at that festival. That means we just select like good young artists around here, like to to show their work uh, 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 on that festival, and also looking for artists to become the, the poster artist for this festival also. This uh, is a festival going to happen, uh, uh, um, ev it's every uh, May, mm -hmm. uh, like that May 6th, I think that's going to happen this year. But this year we're going to, to move that festival to, uh, to downtown Tampa. Ooh, that'd and be a good area yeah, for that. Yeah, it's going to be like two days this time, and then we're going to have a lot of art experience, like we got a lot of artists doing live art, and uh, and then we're going to have like some free art sessions mm -hmm. for people who can bring their kids and etc. This is what we're working on right now. When you're doing something like that, what do you look for in those art pieces? When you're trying to select artists and art, what are you looking for to, you know, if I'm an artist trying to get into your show, what were some things you would look for? But since it's not a one person job, because mm -hmm. you know everybody, we got what you love probably will be different than mine. You know, taste, color. Mm -hmm. We all have our own, you know, that we can discuss that, mm -hmm. you know, that's your own. You have your own taste, you have your own color, yes. you know, we can. That's you, that's me, I have mine. It's why sometimes we have a group, mm -hmm. you know, people, you know, we can, now and after we agree, you know, we, could, uh, okay, yeah. we meet somewhere and then we <laughs> say, okay, because I might choose something and then that's, you don't see yourself in it, you know, mm -hmm. and then most three people in that room can say, okay, I don't see myself, only you can see that, but... You understand? It's why most of the time we got a group and we design. Most of the time, I look for c if myself, like mm -hmm. I to respond to your questions. I look for the creativity, and also like when I say creativity, for example, let's say we're doing something like the in uptown to show the uptown area. And if I see something will really promote the uptown area in your piece, I might say, oh, I go to that. You understand <laughs> that? You understand? Yeah, no, no, that makes this sense. This is this is uh, me personally what I look for. My this might be different from another. This might be different from another person. Say, oh man, I love that blue color in that piece. You understand? Yeah. Because it's because that person might like blue. Yeah. You understand? And another person say, man, that red is fantastic. It's because red is the, you know this. It's mm -hmm. why. We just uh, look, and then we met, and then yeah, yeah. So at some point, you said, "Okay, we're going to decide." We're going yeah, to that must this. be being those yeah. committees must be a little hard sometimes. For, okay, for example, back in I was the poster artist for the Clearwater Jazz Festival mm -hmm. back in 2015, but they usually put a put a, a call for artists in the in uh, uh, like in, like nationwide, like to look for an artist to become the poster for the artist. And one time, they saw one of my art piece. And then I create for a, a, a gallery in downtown Clearwater. And they saw it immediately. They said, well, okay, we just want to choose that person. Yeah. Now, just, like, just like that. And they called me, okay, we see your work. We don't want to do any call this year. We're going to choose you. And then you're going to become the poster artist. It's probably something I did and that piece, yeah. you know, talk to them. And then they just That's amazing. You know, choose me automatically, yeah. That's always a lot of the time with art, too, in any industry. Sometimes it's just getting lucky. 
yeah. one person sees the right thing yes. and you're there. Yeah. So uh, I know we have a couple murals around mm -hmm. uh, Tampa. Where can we find some of those at? Okay, you w the, if you go to the university area, CDC, mm -hmm. like, but we, can, we name Uptown soon. Yes. Like, it's uh, on Fletcher and on 20, 22nd Street. You will see, uh, also, if you see a bunch of sculpture, like, it's with love, mm -hmm. you'll see love and uh, hope. Uh, peace, mm -hmm. joy, uh, all those projects. It's some. Uh, it's some. Uh, it's some. Okay. Of my it's some of my projects. And also, one of the biggest things I also do in this community. Most of those projects, I didn't do them myself. Mm. I have the community involved in all of them. The community participating on every single one project I did in the uptown area. This is this is this is one of the most amazing things because those people. Every time they're passing by, they see, they get involved. Every single mural I have there in, in the uptown area, I didn't just do it myself. I have the community come out and then volunteer and every single of them. Like even, even we have a family statute on uh, 20, 26th Street mm -hmm. uh, at Harvest Hope Park. I have the community coming out, work every day, you know, if they have time and then they come and then build the, the, those projects with me. If you go to uh, 22nd Street, 26th Street, and you will see all, most of those projects. I love that you give credit to other artists. I love how open you are with art. It's not a one-person thing for you, and that just, that's, that's so beautiful, because again, so many artists are very auteurs. It's them, it's their yes. vision, it's there, and I love yes. that you seem so open. That's just, it's refreshing. It, you are such an inspiration. You're such a refreshing Thank artist, you. and I love speaking with you today. Thank you. Really want to speak with every artist just like you, and I want artists to know this is what we should be striving for. Open, creative, fun. Junior Polo, thank you so much for joining me for My today. My pleasure. My pleasure. It has been a joy speaking with you. Any advice you want to give people real quick? One advice I want to give to my young artists is try to be consistent mm. in your work. And then try to do something people can identify you. Even you didn't sign your name on, and then yeah. people can automatic automatically say, oh, that's Joseph, that's John. <laughs> you understand? Yep. Instead of jumping to different stuff, you know, different uh, style, stick with one, yeah. and then make it yours, and then automatically people can. It's like the same. For example, you see a Van Gogh. Yeah, you know You, you, Van you would say it's a Van Gogh, right? Yeah. You see a Picasso, probably like a late <laughs> Picasso, you will yep. say, okay, that's a Picasso. Just mm -hmm. looking for your own identity and then stick with it. Yep. Yeah. All right. You heard what Junior said. Look for your identity. Find yourself. Find your art. Thank you so much for joining me. My and thank pleasure. you all so much for watching this episode of Culture Ventures.